What's up guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to change a main stopcock with shutting the water off in the street. This is a stopcock in behind the kitchen units which is very tight to get here. I've had to strip the units out. He's getting a new kitchen so we're just going to strip it out and make a start. So first of all, that's the house. You want to line up outside and try and find where the Toby is. It has a W on it for water. And as you can see at the left, there's my Toby key right there. That's where it'll reach down and we'll twist it and shut the water off as I'm going to show you here. It's very tight, so what I've done is I've got a bit of copper, extended copper, which gives me a bit of leverage. And I'll be honest, the thing is solid. So we've twisted it. I'm just that's speaking that. back and forth with the client here to find out whether or not that the water's turned off or not. Something's one of the most concerning things about this is if you're turning water on or off and there's an issue and it slips off the stopcock down below on the ground then you can be in a bit of bother as you can see that I've slipped off here and it takes a good couple of seconds sometimes to find it, sometimes it takes longer. Obviously open the tap up fully and make sure that it shuts down. So next up what we're going to show you is this is what the stopcock looks like, brass 22mm. If you're lucky, you'll get to reuse the same nuts and olives, but in my case, I've not landed so lucky because it's an old Imperial stopcock. So yeah, you want to disconnect the nuts on either side. And again, I'm very fortunate here, and not many are, that I've got a bit of space and there's a bit of play in the pipework moving up and down coming through the ground, which allows me to slip this one off, get the new one on and working it very, very easily. So as you can see here, I'm going to actually try it on the nuts and rings and I'm going to realise and <laughs> go, oh you bugger this, this isn't working. So you've got two options here, you either use all the pullers that will pull the rings off, but unfortunately the rings are really clamped down so I think it would cause more damage to the pipe and I don't want any extra fittings in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my junior hacksaw and I'm going to cut away and cut the fittings and olives off which will make my life just that little bit easier what i'm going to show you here is sometimes on the brass olives you can actually get your grips around them and slip the rings off unfortunately again too tight clamped on and i'm not going to get it so again we're a resort back to el hackle so So what you, here you're seeing I'm using a flat screwdriver, sometimes you can cut it halfway without hit, marking the copper and you split it with the screwdriver, it makes life just that little bit easier. Again, so much easier. Again, one of the most important things for me is making sure I paste up my olives with the Laco paste. Um, you need to make sure that it's for potable water, otherwise you're going to risk contamination, I think. So, as you can see, it's gonna get, this is pretty much a brand new tub because um, I was making sure it was for potable water. And I couldn't, the, on my old tub, it's actually ran out pretty much. So I couldn't really see if it was for potable water, so I just bought a new tub. And then as you can see, the nuts tighten up, no problem on this now. So what I'll do is I'll give a quick tighten up with my grips and shift to either end, make sure it's slipped in, and then what you do is you pretty much hold against yourself and tighten up, wipe off the excess, because there's actually quite a bit extra. Shut the water off. There you go, use your grips, hold against yourself, turn the water on, out in the street, and then turn it back on at the stopcock, and then make sure your water's coming through. 
Although I've made it sound quite easy, it's actually normally a lot harder than what it looks. But I appreciate you watching this video. I'd love it if you could subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching.